zodiacal releasing is an ancient Hellenistic timing technique that times the chapters of a person's life. It's as if your life is a book, a biography. And when you open your book, you've got sections that are decades long, and then you've got chapters of your life that last two years, three years, one year. Then you can break it down even further on a level three period, periods of your life that last months, positive months, more unpreferable months. Then you can break it down even further to days, to the literal exact day. This is the Diaco releasing. It's looking at your life as if it were a biography and noting the different times, the peak periods of heightened importance, the times that are more preferable and positive, and the more challenging periods that inspire growth and are more unpreferable. Shout out to Chris Brennan and the Astrology School podcast for all of the work that he does on bringing Hellenistic astrology and zodiacal releasing to modern day astrology. Because of his podcast, YouTube channel, textbook, and courses that I am here able to give you this information. I am so excited to show you guys how you can pull up your own zodiacal releasing chart online and note when you are going to be having your more positive and unpreferable time periods in your life in regards to your career, health, and relationships. So without further ado, let's get started. But before I do, I just wanna let you know that I do offer one one-on-one -on -one zodiacal releasing client readings. You can book a reading with me online at my website, helenawoods.com slash readings. And I also offer astro cartography readings. And in those readings, I always like to give a few 10 to 15 minutes breakdowns of some of your exciting, positive, and peak period moments of your life. So if you would like to book a reading with me, feel free to head to helenawoods.com slash readings. I'll include the link down below. And I'm so excited to walk you through your life chat. My readings also include a PDF document in which I will send you a uh, day before the reading to give you a uh, general outline of your peak periods, positive and challenging time periods in regards to your career and your relationships and your love life. One of my favorite quotes is, luck is preparation meets opportunity. And this is the case with peak periods in zodiacal releasing. Everyone has moments of peak or heightened importance in their life. More faded opportunities present themselves to us. And in regards to zodiacal releasing, you can find your peak periods in your life by first looking up your lot of fortune. So when you pull up your chart, you wanna see where your lot of fortune is located. You can just go to astro.com, enter in your information, your birth data, make sure you have a correct time of birth. It's very, very important for accuracy. And then if you scroll down, you wanna click for the chart selection, you want to make sure it's Hellenistic, then scroll down to the bottom and you will find your zodiacal releasing periods. I personally use Astro Gold software for my zodiacal releasing and my transit work, but um, you can do it for free on astro.com. So once you pull up your chart, the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at where your lot of fortune is located in your natal chart. That lot of fortune symbol, it's a circle with an X in the middle. Um, you can also find it just by looking at your zodiacal releasing where when you see lot of fortune, the symbol that's associated with that is gonna be your lot of fortune. When you look at your lot of fortune, you wanna ask yourself, is this mutable, cardinal, or fixed? And then know, as a general rule of thumb, that the other three signs that are cardinal, mutable, or fixed are also going to be peak periods for you. Some other things to keep in mind when you're looking at your zodiacal releasing chart are gonna be an LB symbol. On astro.com, it'll be an LB. On astro gold software, it's gonna be a little asterisk. But what that means is a loosening of the bond. A loosening of the bond is a really important catalyst for change. It is often seen as a pivot or a change of direction in one's life. Often people will change their career or have um, maybe an internal belief system change. I have noticed that for me on a level four uh, day period, whenever I have an LB, I often find that something around my internal beliefs or the direction that I wanna go in or maybe I've let something go in my life often is um, catalyzed on that LB, that loosening of the bond. So whenever you see those symbols, those are really important because they signify great change and pivot and a new direction. 
The other thing that an LB can represent is an up-leveling. For example, I find that a lot of my clients tend to get promotions on LBs. They tend to have um, an increase in position in work when they hit an LB. In terms of relationships for me, you know, I got married on an LB. You know, uh, if you're in a relationship, those next steps, the up-leveling of the engagement ring, right? Getting married, moving in together, you know, deciding that you wanna have a family, that you decide to wanna have kids. Those are all LB moments of, uh, they're really important and they're times of change or up-leveling. So really keep in mind when you're looking at your chart, you know, where are those LBs? Cause that's gonna signify something really uh, important. Now you have three main categories in zodiacal releasing that you can look up on your own. A lot of fortune signifies the body. It is that which befalls the person with no control on their own. Like it's all external circumstances. It has to do with body and health. So death, accidents, sicknesses, illness. These are all a lot of fortune areas to look out for. If you wanted to track your health, track how you're doing, you know, any of that you can see through the lot of fortune. The lot of spirit is really cool. This is work and your career. And it's also your own free will. The lot of spirit represents mind and intellect. So this, these are all things that you are doing of your own accord. It's what the native brings about in their life as a result of personal volition, your own mind and intellect, as well as your work and career. And the third thing you can look up on astro.com is a lot of arrows, which is relationships. Marriage uh, can also be friendships, but oftentimes I find a lot of arrows to be romantic relationships. Up, I find the correlations of celebrities, politicians, and their peak periods is just fascinating. It's, it's really cool to see how these planets are signaling and signifying to that us to that which is already going on, which is cool. In zodiacal releasing, we have two major peaks, one moderate peak and one minor peak. And these peaks cycle around throughout our lifetime, so it's not a one and done thing. But the first major peak is the lot of fortune itself. So the, the sign that is that is in the lot of fortune, for example, Aquarius, that's going to be a major peak. So the next peak period is the fourth house from the lot of fortune. So if the lot of fortune is an Aquarius, the fourth house from the lot of fortune is going to be Taurus and that is a minor peak period and then you move alongside to the seventh house from the lot of fortune that it's directly opposite the uh, the first major peak and that for me is Leo because Leo is the opposite of Aquarius. So the seventh house from the Lot of Fortune is going to be a moderate peak period. And then you work your way around the chart and you find the 10th house from the Lot of Fortune. And for me, that is Scorpio, the next fixed sign. And Scorpio or the 10th house from the Lot of Fortune is going to be another major peak. So there are four peaks and you can time when you're gonna have a minor, moderate, or major peak in your life. Peak periods are very active times. They're very important times and they bring about great opportunity. But this does not always mean that that peak period in your life is going to be positive or preferable or unpreferable and challenging. There are some things that we have to look into to determine whether that period of your life is going to be fun and easy and supportive or it's going to be a little challenging. So the things that are going to determine what makes a time period positive or challenging is going to be the nature of the natal planets that are in that sign. Do you have any signs there? Are they making any squares or oppositions to other signs? That's going to be a really big indicator as to whether things are going to be difficult, like oppositions and squares, or more positive, like trines. Um, also, you want to look at the sect of the chart. Um, to determine this, you want to find the most positive planet and the most negative planet in your chart. You do this by noting whether you have a day chart or a night chart. You have a day chart if the sun is on the top half of the horizon in your chart, and you have a night chart if the sun is in the bottom half of your chart. If you have a day chart, your most positive planet is gonna be Jupiter, so you wanna see where Jupiter is in your chart, what sign is that under? Um, is it mutable, cardinal, fixed? If it is fixed and your peak period is fixed, that means your most positive time is gonna be aligned with your peak period. If you have a day chart, your most negative planet is gonna be Mars, so you wanna see where Mars is located in your chart. On the other hand, if you have a night chart, your most positive planet is going to be Venus, and your most negative planet is gonna be Saturn. So you then wanna look at where in your chart are those uh, planets located, what signs contain them, and are those signs mutable, 
cardinal or fixed. That's gonna give you more information on the peak periods of your life and also just give you some more information on the non-peak areas, the non-peak periods of your life. Are those periods going to be, you know, positive or more challenging? Let me just give you an example. I have the lot of fortune in Aquarius. I have a day chart, so my, my most positive planet is Jupiter. Jupiter natally in my chart is located in Scorpio, which is a 10th house sign from the lot of fortune. Um, so that means that my, you know, anytime I enter a Scorpio time period for my career, that's gonna be really, really positive for me. My most negative planet or unpreferable planet is uh, Mars, and that's located natally in my chart in Aries. So whenever I see the little Aries symbol or an Aries period in my life, I know that that's gonna be a little bit more challenging for me. But also to see whether it's gonna be a positive or negative time, you wanna see the nature of the natal planets that are located in those signs. Something that's really important to know about zodiacal releasing is that we have three phases of our lives and they cycle around endlessly throughout our lifetime. We have a prep period or a preparatory period, which is the sign that comes before your peak period. Then you have the peak period, which is a typically a very busy and active time. And then you have the sign after the peak period, which is called a completion period. This is the culmination of everything that you've done during the prep period and the peak period. And then it cycles back around and you go through them again, once again, through the lot of arrows lot of fortune as well as the lot of spirit. So for example, if your lot of fortune is in Aquarius and that means all your peak periods are going to be fixed signs, that means the period right before that major fixed peak period is going to be the preparatory period. It's the period where you're gathering information, where you're learning, studying, absorbing material. It's the student's path to the peak period. I like to think that the prep period is more like you're the student, the peak period is where you're the teacher, and then you finish off that peak period with the completion period. After you've finished your more busy and active peak period in your life, you then move on to the third and final phase, which is the completion phase. Completion phases typically are the times when you're polishing off the work that you've finished in the peak period. This is when you're, you know, tying up loose ends, wrapping up the bow, um, polishing off the work, and really finalizing it. So just to give you guys a little bit of a visual example of a, a peak period and what it may look like, um, this is my own zodiacal releasing chart. Um, you can see here on the level one in the lot of spirit, which is career and work, I entered a prep period in Capricorn on August 14th, 2017, and that was a two-year period where I started learning about slow living and started really learning this new lifestyle that I've been on a journey with actually since 2017. That's when actually that this whole lifestyle change happened for me, and I started learning and absorbing everything that I could about this lifestyle. I entered a major peak in my career November 2nd, 2019, which around that time I started writing about slow living. I started writing actively on my blog and on Instagram and then eventually on YouTube. Now I am coming to the completion period of this cycle in my work life, which is April 20th, 2022. This is the completion period. So this is a period of finishing off everything that I have done in this very busy and active time in my life. And I'm tying up the loose ends. I'm wrapping up the bow on the finished product. And um, I will be entering this completion phase April 20th to 2022, and will be leaving it April 15th, 2023, when I enter a new work phase in my life. And it's interesting to see that this completion period is coming up for me for a year. And it's during this completion period that my book on slow living will be coming out and I will be you know making the final videos for my channel about specifically slow living and then in April of 2023 I'll be entering a new phase of which I have no idea I do know it's going to be coinciding with my Saturn return and I've got some intense gnarly transits over there during that time so as you as you may recall um my most negative planet in my chart is Mars and natally Mars is located 
in Aries. So I know that work-wise in my career, this April 15th, 2023 to the summer of 2024 is not very pleasant. It looks challenging. It looks difficult. It looks unpreferable for me. So zodiacal releasing is really great because it can really show you how to prepare yourself for challenging times and how to prepare yourself for more positive, preferable peak periods in your life as well. So that's just a little example I wanted to show you in regards to preparatory periods, peak periods, and completion periods. Another really important thing to note about zodiacal releasing is you always want to look at the sign from the lot of fortune. So for example, my lot of fortune is Aquarius, but then I'm going to apply it to the lot of spirit and the lot of Eros. So that's a really, really important thing to, to keep in mind, guys. When you pull up your zodiacal releasing on astro.com, you may see that you know your lot of fortune is in Aquarius, but your lot of spirit is, is natally in Leo, and your lot of Eros, which is relationships, is, is somewhere else. So you want to make sure you use your lot of fortune Aquarius, for example, and apply it to the other two charts. So that's just a brief rundown of zodiacal releasing. You can actually time the chapters of your life in regards to relationships and love life, career and work, and your health and external circumstances that befall you. Um, this it's, it's quite wild. I actually took Chris Brennan's class in September, became obsessed with everything zodiacal releasing. I've read everything I could get my hands on. I really recommend his course. Chris Brennan offers an online course. I really highly recommend it. It's like 30 hours, 30 plus hours. Talks about tons of charts and gives great examples and really goes in depth with it. Um, and then I also recommend checking out his uh, Hellenistic Astrology textbook if you would like to read more about Hellenistic Astrology. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, you can head over to my website at helenawoods.com slash readings. I'll include a link down below in the description and a pin comment and I'd be happy to work with you. I'm so excited. It's been so fun working with so many of you guys over the last few months. Honestly, I've just been so busy with readings and client work that it's been harder to, to keep up with these videos on this channel, but I am just so, so excited to talk about this today. Zodiac releasing. Wow. I am so obsessed, so passionate. Um, and it's, it's why I give client readings for these two specific areas of life. Zodiac releasing, which has to do with time and time periods of a person's life and astro cartography, which is travel and relocation and living in different parts of the world and the energies that those places have for you if you travel or visit those places. It's just, I'm so passionate about time and travel and to combine my passion and love for these two subjects has just been so fun, so fun. I've been having a ball with these readings. So yeah, if you'd like to book a reading, head over to my website and I'm excited and happy to work with you. So with that in mind, have a beautiful, magical day. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to like, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps support the channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.